Welcome to Straight Out of Sixth Grade Natives. We have an excellent show for you today. On to the first segment with Mia and Cheyenne doing Yorktown Wrestling. In this segment, we will be doing sixth and seventh grade wrestling. Why did you join wrestling? Uh, because my brothers do wrestling and it just runs in my family. How long do you plan on staying in wrestling? Till probably college. What's your favorite part of wrestling? Uh, just getting to wrestle in general. Where are you hoping to go again? Uh, Aiden Carver in state. When will you next meet next? Uh, this coming up Monday. How do you guys feel about wrestling? Uh, I like it a lot. Why did you join wrestling? Uh, because I like to wrestle with people. How long do you plan on staying in wrestling? Uh, till the end of high school. What's your pay What's your favorite part of wrestling? Uh, just to like take down people to just you know, put hands on them and stuff. Who are you hoping you go against at some point? Um, Ben Bush and like beat him. When will you guys next meet? Um, this Monday. Thanks, Callan. How do you guys feel about wrestling? I feel like it's it's a good sport for people to just it's a, like it will help people to protect themselves if they ever like get in a fight. Why did you guys join wrestling? Um, I don't know. My mom, and dad just put me into it. How long do you plan on staying in wrestling? This is my last year. I'm not doing this stuff no more. What's your favorite part of it? Probably like wrestling Kate, you know, like grabbing him and stuff, throwing him. Who are you hoping to go against at some point? John Cena, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you know. This is your last year, you idiot. Shut up. <laughs> when will you guys next meet? Uh, yeah, Sunday. I don't know. Something like that. How do you guys feel? How do you feel about wrestling? Terrible, I hate it. <laughs> Why did you join wrestling? To hurt people. How long do you plan on staying in wrestling? Like four years. What's your favorite part of it? Uh, wrestling. Did you know? Who are you hoping you can go against at some point? Hawk Hogan. He did. When will you guys Sunday? next no. meet? Sunday. <laughs> How do you guys feel about wrestling? Uh, it can be tough at some times if people aren't doing what they need to do. Um, Why did you join wrestling? My mom put me in it. How long do you plan on staying in wrestling? Until college. How, what's your next meet? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. What's your favorite part of it? I don't even know. How do you guys feel about wrestling? <laughs> uh, it's okay. Yeah. Who are you hoping you go against at some point? Thank you for watching our segment. Wow, that was a great segment. Now on to school construction with Titus, Sam, and Max. Max Max Lewis. Hello, my name is Titus, and we are going to oh. do a tour of the Yorktown Middle School after its construction. So, right now we are at the main entrance, as you can see, and this is where people are going to be to get into the New Yorktown Middle School. Yeah, if we take a look around, that is the hallway where the gym is and where more exit doors are. Yeah, and, and main entrance. We're going to walk down this hallway and show you around and tell you what the rooms are. Hello, my name is Sam and I will be talking about the new hallway. If we walk down here, we, here we have an entrance to one of the offices better known as the nurse's office. Here is one of the nurse's office. Okay. 
and then if we walk over this way, right here we have um, the den. Tech, the tech pool. Here we have one of the consultants and special education. Here is a conference room. Here is the special education office. And here is the school physiologist. And then here is the brand new library. Welcome to the brand new library. It is very sick. This is the brand new checkout desk. So like I feel like you were here. These are reading desks. If we walk here, here are all the rest of the reading desks. And we have these two rooms. Thank you for that update on the construction. Now on to a row of stretcher and Remy with 7th and 8th grade basketball. So, Kaden, when did you start playing basketball? I started playing basketball when I was like 4 or something like that. And why did you start? I started playing basketball just because I love the game and I just love playing sports. Made that group. It's cool. What made you start playing basketball? Um, I just want to expand my sports. Mm -hmm. How much do you think you've improved from the beginning of the season? A lot. I went from a not starting to starting. Mm -hmm. On to swim and dive with Nicole, Addy, F, and Devin. interviewing swim and dive. Yeah. So this, this is, is I am Devin. I am Addie and I'm Nicole. Today we are interviewing Addie Flowers, Nicole Perfit, and we Pat and Addie Warmer. I do swim because I feel like it's fun and you can meet new friends. I people say when I when I do free I am like a race car. What made me do swim is I don't know. I just started and I just kept doing it because it's really fun and I really like it and I'm really good at it. And a lot of people say when I swim fly I look like a dolphin. Bam! What? I quit swim because there was a lot going on in my schedule but I am thinking about doing it again. The divers we are interviewing are Ruthie Dragoo, Ty Philosophy. Well, those are some very cool things about swim and dive. On to the next segment with Huck, Zayden, Kevin, and Carter. Why would they make Valentine's Day cupcakes? Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of Killed It. Today we are going to be doing a Valentine's Day Killed It. Um, so our first contestant is Huck Purdue. You already know. Our second contestant is the man who won it all last time. Zayden! It's too easy. I'm about to win a second time. You already know what's going to happen. And surprisingly, Yay! he's the third contestant. Is me. Yeah, just me. Well.
Go. Pop off. Hey guys, welcome to Killing It. Today I'm going to be rating and reviewing the uh, uh, Valentine Puff Picks uh, made from our contestants. Unfortunately, Carter couldn't, couldn't come here because he got ran over by a semi. So he couldn't come here today. Rest in peace. So, but right now, the first one we're going to review is our contestant right here, Zabie. And right here, you can see, well, you can't see, but there's a cupcake, got red and pink feeling. I like that a lot. I like that. Um, you got the, um, you got the, you got the, uh, M&Ms in there and everything. But you what's the, the design? Like, I you like didn't that. have a design. The design was like, was yeah, like I a, can't see that. Design. It was like a heart type thing. But it's it was kind of, like, it was designed to be like, and then there was also, a, uh, M and M's on the inside that oh, okay. just, that formed a heart. Yeah, okay. yeah. that's good. So you definitely know that. I couldn't see the heart with all the sprinkles, but I do like how you put the effort in, and I do like the M and M's inside. That's yeah. probably a really good. That's that's, yeah. yeah, that's all a right. good surprise. Okay. Um, next we're gonna have into it, just like a. Now we have hooks. Um, I really like the um. I, is that a heart, right? Yes. I like the uh, X, and I like the um. That's an O. It's a heart. That, and I like that heart, and I like how you have pink and red again. Do you have anything like inside of it? No, there was not anything inside of it. But I did make the cupcakes, so I, I do like I do like it because I can actually see the, the the design of it. I can see it, so I do I do like that. And we have Carter, rest in peace. Not even bloody immaculate. I mean, you did I mean, horrible. Okay, he ate. Yeah. He ate. He ate yeah, one. You, you suck. <laughs> First but. of all, he ate one. He ate one. He ate one of his cupcakes and half of one. Yeah, he There's sprinkles one. everywhere. He nothing inside of it, and then he had made a big mess. Yeah. I can I can't. I don't even know what the design is on it. Yeah. Zero out of ten. All right, so, now you gotta rate ours. Right, so for Huck, I like the design on it, obviously. I like everything about it. I'll give it a solid mm, 8 out of 10. Okay. And Zan's, I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Wait, we tied. Yeah, that's your point. Okay. Because I do, because I like that. You see that, like, pink on the inside of it, too? On, yeah. on top of the red? You only want because of the M&M's inside. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. That's, that is good. Yeah, that's why I like that one. So yeah, oh yeah, Carter's in last, and we have a tiebreaker for Zane and Huck. Wow, those cupcakes look delicious. Now on to band with Ava, Evie, and Violet. I'm Evie. I'm Violet. <laughs> and I'm Ava. What instruments do we play? Ava and Evie play the flute, and Violet plays the clarinet. It's very educational. You learn how to play all different kinds of music. The best part of band is our band teacher. He makes the band so fun to play our instruments. Band is such a good experience, and I love how we all get better and grow with our instruments together. We're like a family. Mr. Miller, what instrument did you play in band? I played the trumpet in school band. What is your favorite band instrument? Right now, my favorite band instruments are probably trombone and electric bass. What is your favorite thing about band? Ooh, being able to create music with students and see the joy that it brings you guys. Why do you choose to be a band director? I had really good mentors and other band directors growing up. and. I decided at the end of my sixth grade year that that's what I wanted to do as a career. And again, I enjoy the, the difference and the, the passion that you guys create for. Um, Oh!